Well, we're back out the dam today. Got Bo here. Um, and the togas have been a bit finicky the last few times that I've come out. Haven't really been able to get them to bite. Yeah, it might be worth doing a change up. Oh, oh, look at the boy, look at that boil. Oh, yes. Oh, bass. Oh, dropped him. Oh, yes. Oh, there must be heaps of bass there, man. Go, you go in, probably double up on them. Must be a school of bass sitting there, and there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Get him back. He's just suckling on my finger. You alright? You're free. Just watching and waiting, there's a, a little a small toga just popped up down in front of me here. It's just out there. Nah, I think I spooked him. So I actually seen this on one of Dean Sylvester's videos fishing for Barra. And we've come out and we're just gonna work. This is a minor bite time we're in now. But we've got a major bite time, uh, four till six. I've got to be out of here about five o'clock. So we'll see if we can fish this minor bite time and see if we can get this to work. It would be pretty cool if, yeah, we can get a toga or something just to sort of prove that this is working. I know it did work for Dean with the barrel. Let's see if we can replicate it on the togas. So there's a little one there. If I was just put a couple of casts near him, but He's coming back for it. Go again, go again. He's see where that's where he's where the splash was, got him interested. I've sort of lost. Oh, he's right in the middle. Yeah, he's go again, he's heading back towards that grass. He's pretty much at the grass, like into that full flooded grass now. I've lost him now, but oh he's up there again. He's up there again. He's he's right. Yeah. He's sort of gone into the grass now. No, he's gone again. He's like getting, he's going right in that grass and then sort of coming out. Oh, he's right, he's right here. He's right here, close. See where that little patch of weed is? Just just to your, like the first little patch of weed. At first, he's just like going that first tree, that first round tree, he's right next to it. Heading back out into the middle. If you put a car straight in right now, should be right in front of him. Yep, right, he's on it, he's coming. There you go. Oh, yeah, 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 you, know, you missed him. Oh. So there we go. That That's right on. We're on a minor bite time. And we just got a bite straight up. So yeah. let's see if we can see another one. We might get one or we might get another shot at this guy yet. What do you reckon we, we go up and him give him, see if we can see any more. Pretty hard. Yeah, and then we'll, um, we can come back to him. See if he wants to maybe switch it up and take something else. That's when the togas feed up hard before they breed. August, September. I think August is probably the best time we found going there. They were going nuts. Sort of like their, their final supper for a couple of months, or at least for the females anyway, because they uh, are mouth brooders and they like, hold their, yeah. So they get real spooky and shit. You'll see them everywhere, swimming around. But... You throw a lure anywhere for you, they'll spook when you're going past them in the air. Yeah, as you cast over them, and they're gone. They just see something flying over the top. Alright, go in. I'll sit up on this hill so I can get a bit more vision. 
Yeah, he's there. He's there. I can see him swimming right in the middle. He's heading towards that big tree. Yep. Right next to him. Yeah, he didn't. He's turning. Just, he's coming. Sl very slowly coming. No, he sort of turned off. There he is. His back is right near the grass now. Oh, that was perfect. He's right on that. He sort of come over and had a look at it. Oh, yad him! Yad him! <laughs> oh. So we've been trying to, we came back and we're hitting this, this little one again. And that's the second bite we got out of him then. So I think this bite time is actually working. We'll probably have a couple more casts at this one and we've missed him twice so we're not going to probably spend too long I'm just switching it up going to little bent minnow that's done wonders for me um, And then we might move to another spot which I know holds good fish and see if we can get them ones to bite That was right behind him, but he's turned on it. He's sort of turning and Coming towards it. Yep. Here you go. He's coming. Here we go. He's coming right up to the surface. He's gonna eat that yeah, he's got it. You got him. Yes. Get him. There we go. We got him. I'm gonna, if you can bring him up here. Nice. The bite time has worked. You see, I'm just going to launch him up. Yes. <laughs> Good work, bro. Good work. So coming out using the... Using the fishing times up and checking that bite time. Beautiful colours on him. We did want to come for the major bite, but had to do some other things, so came out for the minor. It's a bit dirty, unfortunately. Give him a clean, you hold him in the water. and On the little diver that was, so he had three goes at that. And there we go. He's, he's not huge, but hey. hey, still nice. That's your first tiger in hens. First tiger in hens. Wait. Lovely. So you reckon? Yeah, man. Wait, wait. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. All right, let's go to this other spot now and see if we can get a bigger one. Good start. Very good start. Happy with that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Big one here. He's coming to look for that bug. Toga. Stay, stay low. Oh, see that spook? Wow. He, that, oh, big flash under it. I don't know if he came. He just flashed back under this lure then. He was big. Wow, another one. One out here. He's coming. Yeah, it's got him. Oh! <laughs> well, there we go. Another one missed him. He smacked that bent minnow, but just didn't didn't find the hooks. Ooh. Yeah. Just sit here and wait and watch. They're sort of starting to come out. This bite time thing is is actually proven. But it's really working right now so oh oh that was a, that's that must have been him did you just cast in and then that just happened or like i cast sat it and then it's come up and had a look and just he's big that one he's smart i reckon he's he's pretty smart i reckon he's onto it there's there's definitely a few around I'll probably sit here and Keep casting and watching for a bit and see if we get another chance. Oh, a little bass. It. On the diver again. Crunched it. Just off that log. Little bass, nice man. little bass. Bite time's definitely working like that. I don't want to spook the fish though. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, you want to throw him? Yeah, I probably want to stay up high and so I can keep an eye out. Here we go, number two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Number two for the day. That one's just on the little little bent minnow. Get that out of him. I just came to another spot. We've seen two out there. One spooked as I cast. And this dude just come and crunched it. 
I don't think the GoPro was rolling, but he was jumping like crazy. I hope I hope we caught some of it. I'll get him back and hopefully Bo can get the other one. Such a cool fish, eh? Cool. Got a little bit of time left and then we've got a little bit of time to go into the major bite time and then we've got to go so hopefully we can get a couple more we're coming towards you if you put a car straight out here straight out quick 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 because he's right yeah uh, right side but if you put a car straight out next to on the left side he should come to it he's right near where that stuff on the surface is yeah oh he's spooked oh no he's come straight onto it straight onto it oh, oh. He, he charged it, man. Oh, there's one just here. He's on it. Oh, didn't like it. Oh, he's still there. Oh, it's turned off. So this is where the drains all sort of come out. We've had a lot of rain over the last day or two on the coast you can see the water's a bit dirty so i think that's another reason obviously that bite time that's sort of done now so the app says and i think that's another reason why there a lot of them here and this is i know that's why this is a good spot but they're very fired up here at the moment it's because all these little water courses here flush everything in a bit hard to see with the cloud covering We've hit this spot a little bit, so we might leave it, go to another spot. We've come back to the spot where we've seen them big ones earlier, and we haven't seen anything yet. We were seeing fish all the way up until probably about an hour after the bite time said on the fishing app, and we we're actually catching fish and getting bites till about an hour, and then they, they literally just disappeared. So I don't know if the app's fully true or what, so I'm gonna have to keep doing a bit more testing with it, but that's pretty cool so we've got the major bite time coming in at four just about four o'clock so we're just going to sit and wait and see if that works out for us and if they start showing but we've only got about half an hour or so and then we've got to get out of here so at least if we can see a couple or start seeing them around 3 4 o'clock then like i'll be pretty convinced with the app that it's right i've gone Back to the bent minnow, Bo's throwing a little cicada and after I got that refusal on the Maverick I just changed it up because you know if I, if I do put it put it over like a big fish I really want to get it. I'd, I'd love to crack the 80 centimetre mark, getting that 74 or 74 and a half was, was so awesome but like just to get one over, I think if I got one over 80 I'd be like I'd never need to catch another togo again. I know there's bigger ones out there, I've seen them get caught but that's awesome and I reckon I've seen a couple that are about around that 80 centimetre mark here at this spot and at some other spots so they're definitely in here. Well we left the other area, we've been sitting there for about an hour, I did not see anything, we'd come into what, what the app was saying is major bite time and still didn't see anything so we left and we've got probably about half an hour left before we got to go, we've come back to the area where all the other togas were and we had a lot of bites and i got that little one you see one and those just spotted one so that might be looking good so we're hoping maybe to see a few and we've still got about half an hour left of this or well, before we got to go and this major bite times runs till like six o'clock tonight so um we'll see if we can get another one here we've had a couple of blind casts and nothing yet but hopefully once the sun comes out and we get more into that bite time that they sort of start coming out a bit more we'll just have to see that's time for us to go we both saw one fish here and then we saw nothing we've probably been sitting here for about half an hour and we've got to leave so i don't know if the low bite period was the high bite period or what but the low bite period seemed to definitely produce there was fish everywhere and they were actually a lure hit the water and they were aggressively chasing it down and 
yeah it was pretty awesome so i'm gonna have to do a bit more research with that and just sort of test it out i'll probably test it out on a few other species of fish and stuff as well anyway thanks for watching if you like this episode throw a like uh subscribe help out the channel we're getting up there we're trying to get to 1k now but so yeah hey help us out and thanks again had a good time awesome cheers for today bud no worries all right well, well we will be back um got some other stuff in the works so i'll be back and continue this series on for a bit really want to get that 80 so we'll see